I'm the Eco Clean Queen and my job is to inspire you to use eco-friendly cleaning methods. Some reasons why people might be interested in eco-friendly cleaning methods are no artificial perfumes or dyes, avoid respiratory problems, prevent skin irritations. Sometimes your pets lick everything and they can get sick. Children are sensitive to toxicity. You may be concerned for the environment. Many people are interested in eco-friendly cleaning methods, but they don't know where to start. They go to the cleaning aisle at the grocery store, expecting to understand these products, and then they pick them up and look at them, and there's these long words that are very confusing. What do those words actually mean? And companies are often greenwashing you and trying to trick you into thinking that they're sustainable, but they really aren't. Also, these green washed products can be very expensive. Cleaning is a science, but it doesn't have to be complicated. I'm here to help. I research products and cleaning methods. I see what works, what doesn't, and I relay that information to you in a simple way. Let's go over some basic things you need to know about cleaning. First, I wanna say you could be too clean for your own good. Not all microbes or bacteria are bad. Yes, there are bacteria that can create unpleasant or even deadly diseases, but a lot of bacteria is extremely useful and beneficial to our health. They make vitamins in our gut. They coat our skin to protect it from harmful microbes. And bacteria helps us digest food. Outside of our bodies, bacteria decomposes organic waste. It also makes half of the world's oxygen and fixes nitrogen levels in the air. When water is stagnant, it can turn into bacteria and mold. So sanitize your bathroom, particularly your toilet, your sink, and your shower. Sanitize your kitchen, especially your cutting board. Wash your hands before and after meals, before or after using the bathroom, or touching public places. Most of the things we clean are for aesthetics. Aesthetics is the science of beauty and beauty elevates your mind. Also, everyone loves the feeling of walking on a clean floor, using a clean towel, wearing freshly laundered clothes, or slipping into a freshly clean bed. It feels amazing. The only time you need to sterilize everything is when you're undergoing surgery. Now with that understanding, let's go over some basics about cleaning products. Most of the products I use are what you would find in your kitchen or under your bathroom sink. Now cleaning substances are usually powders, sprays, granules, or liquids. Acidic, neutral, or basic. I'll show you how to save money by buying in bulk and combining simple ingredients to make your own cleaning products at home. As a reference, and for your convenience, I have listed my top cleaning products and tools in the description box of my videos. I travel the world and practice these cleaning methods in all different types of homes, so you can see these cleaning methods can be applied anywhere. A lot of people aren't privileged to have a dishwasher, a vacuum cleaner, a washer or a dryer, and that's okay. I want to teach you how to get by without those things and use the resources that are available to you. Most of my cleaning videos are in English. However, I have one cleaning video in Portuguese and I am working on another in Spanish. I love learning languages and I hope to do more videos in multiple languages so that I can inspire people from all over the world to practice these cleaning methods. By following my channel, you'll quickly become an expert and will find cleaning actually kind of fun and interesting. It's a great workout too. The benefits of having a clean space are infinite. I hope you will join me along in this journey of making this world a cleaner place. 
If you liked this video, give it a thumbs up. You can tap the subscribe button to see more upcoming videos. Tap that notification bell so you can be notified of the very next one.